Right, fishing lunch and meat on the left hand rig on the pole. We're fishing pineapple and lunch meat cocktail on the right hand float. And I just had a little inquiry on the pole float. Barry's just taken out a lovely rud and he's fishing his old quill float that he had when he was a young lad. So, uh, traditional tackle for Barry. Sensor pin rods. I'm using more modern style fishing here. Pole with elastic and uh, carp stalking rod with a floater. So we'll just see what happens there, see if it'll go off. Very windy, we've got the wind in our faces. Putting sweet corn out as a ground bait. Lunch of meat on the hook. Let's see if that brings some of these lovely yeah, wild carps. Oh, look at it go! Whoa! We are into a fish, ladies and gentlemen. That's a wild carp. Look at this. Yeah. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, Barry. It was a delicate bite, but the float went under. I've taken the half the elastic off, so I should be able to play it properly now. Let's have a look at this fish. This is a nice fish, Barry. I told you we can get sport all day long here. Twelve o'clock. I thought it was an afternoon evening fishery. I think we're I think we're gonna have some fun here. It's not big, but it's a carp. He's had his head down. I've got the bait down, you see, and he took it down. Look at this, look at this. Whoa, isn't it going well, Barry? Look at that. Beautiful action, isn't it? Beautiful action. Up she comes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Lovely. It's lovely, Barry. I shall test the elastic. I'll see how far the elastic can go. I'm just worried if I get a really big one, whether I can handle a really big one without smash off. It depends on how much this elastic can go. But look, I can play it to the net now. Look, see that? Now I've taken off. It's about three pounds, but it's a good fish. It's right here. It's right here. There we go. I think that match on. Know, I, I've had movement on the float. I think it's maybe I'm not getting these bite sensitive enough. Eight it? pound nine, small hooks, yeah. small bits of meat. So they do, those little adjustments make a huge difference. Yes, I think the sensitivity of that float, you know. And I'm this float, mm. honestly, it takes a, a, a minnow would tuck that would under. Tuck it under. Because that's it's such a delicate, delicate float. float. It's delicate float. And yeah. if they feel any resistance, they let go. It's going, right. it's going for the structure. Look. I'm well happy with that. I'm well happy with this. Oh, what a start to the session, mate. What a start to the session, Barry. But look, I can give it right hand side. So the pole allows you to take it out, out of the reach of the rock. Need to get him. No, he's still turbocharged. There you go, Barry. I think he's out. He's about two and a half to three, isn't he? Two and a half. Yeah, Should we put him, on, put him on the mat? Let's put him on the mat. Thank you, Barry. Good start to the session. A lovely wildy. Yeah, a lovely wildy. This is an adjustment, isn't it? Just a, just a small adjustment. You might have too too bulky a float, Barry. Yeah, you want something a bit lighter if you can. Here we go. The first 12 o'clock wild carp. And I've got a beautiful fish here. I'm going to take some off. Barbara's took them off. Barbara's took them just all them out, so that's easy enough. And there's the first carp of the session. And there we have it. There he is. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's slip him back. Well happy with that. Certainly quite well, and the new elastic I put on there is brilliant. So should be a lot better off. That. Slip him back. There he goes. Beautiful. So lunch and meat and sweet corn is the order of the day. Right, I've just changed my method here. I've got uh, a one ounce lead, which you can slide on the most people want like that. And then I've got 12 pound or 12 pound fluorocarbon. Size probably two plus a size four hook. And I'm going to get the two plus inch tiger bread. Now we've got ducks here, and the problem with ducks is that um, they're not letting this fish surface baits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just break off a piece of crusty bread, stick it on the hook. Right the way through, thread it through, 
and just pin it back through the back like that. I think you can see that. So that's really, really secure. You can cast it miles. But I've got a weighted rod here. And I'm going to flick it out in the centre of the lake. And what will happen is it will work mid-water. It's about, what, 12 feet deep, 30 feet deep. And the idea is the weight will take the thread down. And uh, the cart will come onto it without the ducks interfering. That's the plan. So a nice little flick cast. Out we go. The weight should be heavy enough to take it down, like that, and then um, oof. see if they take it, basically. So, let's see what happens on that rod. A pole float's being played with as well. Is it going to disappear? Oh, look, I've got myself a nice bream here. They're, they are loving this corn, Barry. There he is. That's a nice bit of sport. I'll have those, I'll have those out all day. Direct, direct double corn, bang, you took it on the deck. So I don't think that corn we're throwing out is even getting down to the carp. I reckon these fish are just nailing it. It's getting on for a pound. We'll have a look at them, shall we? What do you think, Barry? It's in perfect condition, mate. I like the bream net. Oh, yeah, I like the bream net. We used to get a lot of silver bream at right. Tasty years ago. Didn't so you? if you had a keep net, you get a... That's a bronze bream, that is. Is yeah. it a bronze? Yeah, it's a bronze bream, yeah. But it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Barber's yeah. hooks, the hooks will come out by itself. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I think it's enough to get you two grains. Yeah, two grains and away we go. Easy. I think we'll have a bit of afternoon sport, shall we? Yeah. I've got some £10 flora if you want to borrow some. Okay, Paul, I'll write them in a minute. I'll just see how I'm going to have them. Okay. Let's, let's put this fish back. Let's have a look at them. Oh, it's a lovely skimmer. Well, I say bronze, bronze bream, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. That's the quality of the fishery. We'll slip him back. Beautiful fish. Lovely that. Off you go. A bit like Barry. Oh, that looks good, Barry. Look at the bend on the rod. Yeah, I'm just coming now. Barry's in. And we'll get back. I'll tell you what, that looks like a good fish, Barry. We'll land, we'll land it for you. That looks like a big wildie to me. What do you think, Barry? Yeah, it's a wildie. Yeah. I heard it go off. That's well, at least four or five. Beautiful wild carp, and deservedly so. There we go. All oh, all yours. Very nice. Congratulations. Congrats. Have you got a mat, or should I get my mat out? Very good. <laughs> the centre pin was doing the business there, Barry. When you hear that go off, that's what you've been waiting for, isn't it? Oh, I told you it would come on about now, didn't I? Melody. Didn't I tell you it would come on now? Oh, that's a lovely fish. Five. Yeah, he's getting on for about five, isn't he? I'll tell you what, don't they fight well, though? Don't they? Look at that. Look where he is. Oh, perfectly hooked. That's in the whisker there, look. Yeah, that's encouraging. The carp are back on the feed. So, small lump of meat or a big lump? They're not that big. Very nice. Yeah. Nice fish, Barry. Well done. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Fizzing in my swim. 
I've had two little tuck unders and one of these floats is going to disappear any moment now. The carp are just starting to come on. We're looking for wild carp and here is Barry. We've had one each already and the session's just really get, starting to get going now. I've got a bite on my uh, stalking rod and I've got a touch on my pole as well. So either one of those could go off any time now. I've got a lift bite. We've got swirling and bubbles. So it's just a matter of time before one of these floats disappears. Wait for it to really go before we hit it. A lot of time you're hitting the first movement and you just pull the bait straight out of its mouth. But sometimes it's worth just letting that float go and zip, zip off and then hit it. Yeah. Barry's into another good fish. On the meat. On the meat yeah. Very nice, I'll move it out of your way. Is it a better fish or what do you think? Hello, he's got the other line here. Yeah? We're both playing him in. Oh. We are. Well, no, I just snap it up. I, I oh dear. It, I saw it, so I Did it go over the line? Let, let it, yeah, up, it went under the line. I'm sure we can get it out. There we go. <laughs> a double hook up there, Barry. Is that a good fish or what? Look at the bend on the rod. Look at, look at the bubbles you've got in your swim. Barry. Stupid about TV is recording all the action. Look at the bed in the rod. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry, you're going to be your day. Patience. Patience is a virtue. I just goes up to sleep. I hope it's a big one. What do you reckon? Were you sleeping then? It's just dozing up, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. I'll tell you what, that's a good fish. It's quite a good fish. I reckon that could be... Uh, let's have a look at its head. Let's have a look at him. Barry's enjoying this. What do you reckon? Any good no, size? I don't, I don't know, you might be surprised, Barry. You might be surprised. Look at the bend in the rod. Lovely action. Lovely action. Centre pin fishing on the lakes here. It's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, Barry's enjoying himself. I can see that. Oh, good bend. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Got to be getting on for six or seven. I'll get the, okay, mate. I'll get the net, do the honours. Ooh, number two wild carp for Barry. Up to That's getting on for about six, I think. Yeah. We have a look at that. There you go. I'll give you six for that. Don't they fight well, Barry? Yeah, they do. I want to make you get on the pretty line. Do you know what I mean? That meat's a deadly bait. It is a deadly bait, isn't it? Just look how beautiful that fish is, though. Isn't it beautiful, yeah, Barry? Just look at him. Look at him. Did you hear the tank again, Paul? I did. It woke me up as well. <laughs> <laughs> you I was having a doze off. Yeah, that's what I was. I thought everything went quiet, yeah. And you got barbless hooks, are they? Or yeah, they barb they are barbless, yeah. Barbless, they should slip out. Oh, easy. Let's have a look at him. Oh, I reckon he's six. Boat, yeah. I reckon he's six pounds, Barry, look. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. Yeah, I'll get a picture. Have you got your camera? Yeah. That's immaculate condition. Look, look at it. Look at that. Eh? That's, oh, look at the fin on that. Look Isn't at that. It's perfect. Aren't they lovely, these fish in here, Paul? Do you want, do you want to get your camera? Yeah, they are. Do you want to get your camera, Barry, and we'll yeah. take a nice picture? I reckon you could have a, a good session tonight. You've got your right set up, all set up nicely, Barry. You ain't going to get any sleep tonight. <laughs> well, off, it just goes up to. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. There we go. Got one on, the, one on the side, side profile. Oh, I've got to wait a second. It just takes a second for it, it to does, come in, doesn't yeah, it? It does, yeah. It should come though, shouldn't it? Yeah, it will do. Come. Yeah, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll tell you what, up. that sense of pin action is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it lovely? <laughs> isn't it lovely? Woke me up or it just it goes off. Beautiful. Oh, wait, oh, wait, it's 2 ones to Fulham. <laughs> <laughs> Fulham versus Tottenham. 2 ones to Fulham at the moment. It's a London derby. <laughs> so what have you got? Uh, it's a hair, lumps of meat on there, and I can say it's probably about a size 10. Probably about half inch square lumps of meat, but you need a small hook, so that they take it confidently. If they feel anything, they'll drop it. But once yep. you tuck it in, you get a screaming run, and it's just a formality to tighten up your in. So the peanut butter acts as an attractor, plus also it gives an oil slick, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Very good. Well, it's very effective. You've had two already, and it's not even yeah. witching hour yet, Barry. No, no. So uh, chance of a double. Paul? Yeah. yeah, let's hope so. I think so. I think we're going to have a bit of a 
Yeah, two or three hour session coming up, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, see now it's warmed up a bit and that wind seems to be dropping, so... Yep. Yeah. Okay, Barry, that sounds good. Okay, Paul. Yep, yeah. okay, mate. Did you see that? Uh, have you got it? Yeah. <laughs> it's an acrobatic bream. It just went straight through the air. That's incredible. You like that peanut butter? This is a, a, a slab of a bream. Look at the size of it. It's about two and a half pounds. Oh, it's a big bream. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice, Barry. Slightly deeper water. Beautiful. Stunning fish. About two pounds. What, on the peanut butter? Let's put it on the mat. Yeah. It went through the air five times. It's like a, like a tarpon. Well, it went through the air like a tarpon. That's on your bait, mate. That's on your peanut butter bait. Worked well, didn't it? Look at it. It's nearly two pounds. Lovely fish, that pool. Have a look. Should we have a look at him? Classic fish, yeah. That's a couple of pound. Look. Really? Just got to be getting on that way, Come on, please. Discord Jobby. Lovely. Have you got a Discord yeah, Jobby? They love that meat. Don't they love that meat? Yeah, Cheers to this. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what. Huh? I'm going to bring myself a tub next time. <laughs> is that, oh, that's my wife. Let me just get this out. That is good, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if, if, if you would, that'd be cool. I have one more go. I can see the hook. Just gotta get in there. Oh dear, oh dear. It's all, it's all oh dear, happening. oh dear, oh dear. It's all happening. It's not very far in actually. It's just on the. Yeah. He's out. Do you want to put it back for me, Barry? Thanks, mate. Oh, and there's your... Oh, you can't see my wire for me. Oh, I've just missed it. The bream here. Another big slab. Yeah. About another pound and a half bream. Yeah. That was a slightly smaller piece, but enough that he got his mouth in it. Pound off. I reckon I could be knocking out pound and a half bream every chuck if I wanted to. Yeah, lovely fish. Hooks have come out, they're barbless. There's the fish, ladies and gentlemen, isn't that lovely? Off you go. Probably catching the same fish all the time. Yeah, big lump of meat in the margins, big carp. Yeah, it's a big carp, Barry. Oh, oh, that was patient fishing. He's got into the weeds, that's the problem. He has. Yeah, he's gone straight into this... Uh, in big meat. Right tight in the margin, I went shorter. But he's stuck in here. He's stuck in here. Good eye goes, lad. I am, I am, let him go out. Let it, you're completely slack, let it go and put the rod down if it's tight. Right, I'll let him go. That's what I used to do on a broom sometimes, that bottom pool, when there was a, they had a big salmon or something. He's gone straight into that reeds. I hope he can uh, come out by himself. Well, where's the free line on there? Uh, that was on the float. Funny, I can't get anything in that side at all. I wonder whether he's just transferred the hook on the tape. No, no, he's going. He's going. So if we give him slack, he'll just take himself out, won't he? He'll just... The moment they feel friction, they just dig in, don't they? Bolt straight for it. He's yeah. gone straight for it. Once they get, round, uh, they get round that stem, it's, it's, it's over. Well, if I give him a bit of slack, he might just ease himself out. Yeah, he'll do it sometimes. And I've got a nice setup here. I don't want to lose the setup because it's a nice little setup. But I'll give him a bit of slack. I can still feel it. Hey? I can still feel the fish. I think he's still on. Really, what I would do is just reel up the slack, right? Yeah. There, and then just go like that. Give it a little bit of elbow. Yeah, just, just, just not, not exactly line, but just a. I want to see if that's going to move again, because he's started to move out. If he doesn't feel any friction, he might just swim out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's 
gone out into the open water, I think. He's actually gone across your baits. Oh. Right, I'm going to try and play him out of the weeds. He's, on, he's alongside them. I've got to try and ease him out. It's another big fish. He's gone straight down the side of the margins there. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh. I had that, that, that one the other night, you know, in that other swim, yeah. Oh. That's where... He's coming. Oh. He's not an embweed. He might be. Oh, he's, coming again. he's on the other side, but he's, he's... He's coming. He's coming. Oh. I've got to try and ease him out. Whoa, look at the bend. Is he out? <sighs> no, no, no. I'm not sure. I can't quite see. He's just taking me straight out here. Edge again. Yeah. You're not solid again, are you? I'm solid. I might have to. Oh, I might have to walk him right round. He's gone round to your swim. Welcome, come now. I'm just Fire trying to ease him out this way first. He's coming. I'm going to keep one again. Oh, I think it's right. he's gone straight into the. What is going on, Barry? I might have to try and walk him up. Pull him your way if I can. I can see him flapping him him about there. It's not that big actually, I can see his head. Is it? Yeah, it's not that big at all. You sure? Yeah, I can see it there, look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a wildy that's taken me into this area here, but he's almost... Only you could get that oh. out there a bit further. It's just whether Let I'll it go flat again, Paul. I can see him. Mm -hmm. I, I can, can see his head. I can see him flapping about in there, yeah. Is that, oh, is that any weed out You see there? that? If I can get round the weed, that's the problem. Unless I can just keep bringing them up. Yeah, you see, you, 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 that's the trouble. You, you, you creep up down that reed there. On top of oh. That's difficult, isn't it? If I can just come oh, round it. Oh, it is. It is. If I can it's just come round. Look. Oh, there's floats coming out now, look. Oh, this is big. Yeah, but the elastic's not working. Why isn't the elastic working? The elastic's not working for some reason. I'm playing it without the elastic, and it's a big carp. Oh no. That's not good, is it? I'm going to have to get that elastic working. Oh, why isn't the elastic working? Hang on. Oh, I know why. I've got that. I've got it. I've got it. It's okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. the elastic got caught around itself. So I'm playing in this fish without the elastic working, and it's a big one as well. Big carp. Go, I went deeper, further out. And how big is he? Is he behaving himself? He's not that big. He's coming up. There we go. Oh, do you know what? Playing a fish without an elastic is not easy. Yeah, that could have been a patink. That could, oh no, he's going in there. Come out, come out. Oh no! Oh, it's just bigger than I think, actually. At least he's coming it out of there. So well, it's, it's bigger than I think. <coughs> God, I couldn't understand why the elastic didn't come out then, uh, then Barry. But then I realised the elastic got caught around the pole, and I've just got to play him in this open water here. That's what I've got to do. But this is a long time waiting for this fish. So I've lost two, but I don't know how big he is because he's. These great big wildies, is it? Not a double figure wildy on the pole, surely not. It looks big, doesn't it? But when they come in close like this, they are normally big. Look at on me, Paul. Because I haven't got his head up yet. That's on the meat, yeah. Three big pieces. I put about five pieces over the top and a big handful of corn. And look at the bend in the pole. Look at the action. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fish on. <laughs> And I've reduced the I've reduced the elastic because you know I was struggling to play him in. I've got to make sure that he stays within this range. If he starts taking off in the middle of the lake, I'm gonna get smashed. This is this is big, powerful. Look at it, it's got a black back. It's not one of these big. Okay. It's not that big koi, that twenty pound koi. You know I said I wanted a twenty pounder mm -hmm. tonight. I wonder if I've got myself a twenty pound koi here. It's a big fish. I can't even get his head up. Where is he? Look, he won't let me get his head up. Come on, up you come. It's certainly not a tench. <laughs> it's certainly a nice carp. Look.
look at him, look at him. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, goodness me, he's right under my nose. Right under my nose. How do I play him in? He's stretched me out. He's going for the structure. <laughs> he's going for the structure. <laughs> you can see the bottom of the box. <laughs> I might have to back off and play him back, Barry. Because it's, you know, um, you stretch the elastic. Mm. So if I play him up and I'll get his head up. Um, if anything, I want to add a section because I just need more leverage on this. But it's a it's a stalking pole. I've reduced the elastic, but this is a big fish. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. But what I could do is I could walk back and then if you get in with with him there. When he's ready, he's yeah, he's not quite ready, but he might yeah, but he comes up sometimes you get him. Sometimes they do come up. He's a big one because if you can't get his head up, you know he's big. That's a good telltale sign. Mm. Let's see if I can get his head up. <laughs> I can't get the stick on with those. That's right. It's that not pole. quite right. I've even reduced the elastic down to get more leverage on it. But um, it's still not quite right, is it? You can't. It's not perfect. It's not in control. Well, let's just see. Let's see. There he is. That's a nice fish. It's a beautiful wildie. It's got a black back to it as well, so if you get, it's a dark one this one, yeah. but he's still, here he oh, comes, there you go, there you go Barry. Okay, hold him in the water, hold him in the water. That's oh, a big look, that's a double look figure. At the of him. It's a double figure. It's a ten pounder. Ten. Yeah, let's have a look. It might be bigger. No, that's the colour, right? Why put on the mat. Look how gold that is. Oh, Barry. See how gold that is, look. That's what we want, we want the gold ones. Me. Has the hook come out? The hook's no. come out. I think the hook's come out. It? Yeah. What a cracking. Look at the colour of that fish. It's that gonna be a picture. Is... Eh? It's a picture jobby. Yeah, I have to have a picture. So you've got your camera there, ba yeah, Baron. We'll yeah. get a lovely picture of this one. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a getting off a ten pound double figure wild carp. That's a powerful fish. Fully erected as well. Look at that. Oh, Barry. What a wildie. Isn't that just lovely? Can I get one with the glasses off? This is a lovely, a lo lovely I wild love carp. I do. Here we go, Barry. Oh, that's going to happen right on. That's lovely. Looking at the fish. Do you want one of its yep. girth? If you like. Yeah. Should we get one of its girth? Oh. Ah. Oh. <sighs> like that. Side on profile. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Thanks, Barry. And for my viewers, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that just a beauty? Beautiful fish. And we're going to slip him back. That's two all. Spurs two. Fulham two. And I'll, are you going to give me Fulham. ten pound for that? Uh, it's getting close, isn't it? Close. I, I should say nine and a half, ten. Probably nine. Between nine and ten. I'll yeah. Say. Thank you, Barry. Oh, he's so active. He is so active, he just wants to go. Off you go. That took a lot of waiting for that one. Patience and waiting, but I told you I'd get a 10 pounder, didn't I? Barry, I told you I'd nail a 10. Can you believe it? I'm into a big wild here. Barry's went off and, and mine went off exactly the same time. Mine is huge, it's just stripping me. Look at the size of this, Barry. <laughs> this one's like massive. Look, he's taking me halfway across the lake. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, double hook up, Barry. Double hook up. Oh, this is big. While that's going on, oh, let's put some more bait out. That was on a free line, big piece. Oh. Let's keep this room alive. Let's keep it alive. Oof. Oh. The witching hours arrived, Barry. I told you, didn't I? Barry, witching hours arrived, mate. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this is a biggie. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Double hookup. 
oh my word, this fish is taking me the other side of the lake. Big wildy. Nice fish there, Barry. That's okay. okay mate. The fish. The fish. Oh. oh, this one's really stripping me. <laughs> I'm getting stripped. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. Oh, I'll, there's a map there. I'll give you four for that. Maybe five. Five? Yeah, I'll give you five for that. But I'll tell you what, isn't that a lovely looking fish, Barry? Hey? You won't get pristine wild carp anywhere else in, in this part of the world. Not like that. He's taking me, look, it's a big fish. This is a very big fish, Barry, honestly. This fish is a biggie. Well, it was quite funny because I was sat there. Yours went off, mine went off simultaneously. Can you believe that? Simultaneous. Simultaneous, that was. That's what happened to me and Tony the other night. His went off, mine went off. Same thing. This is a clonker. This is a clonker, honestly. The way he's going, this is a big fish there, Barry. And what was funny is, you know you've been freelining? Yeah. You know I lost two floats and I ran out of floats? <laughs> Just a bare hook. Flicked it out, suddenly saw all these bubbles. I knew it was going to go. I put the bread bobbin on there. The bread bobbin went straight up. Look at the fizz it's giving off. Look at the left hand fizz. That's his fizz. Okay, thanks, Barry. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's a torpedo. Absolute torpedo. I've had him all on this rod. Look at the back of this one, Barry. Look at the back on him. This one's a humpback. He's the humpback. Okay. They remind me of bass. You know, they come to the top often, they come to the top. The wild carp often come to the top and they break the surface. Very interesting. Just like a bass. Look at the tail on this one, Barry. It's a good fish. I've got to keep him out of that, out of the weeds. Oh, this is a clonker. Mm -hmm. Yep. Another big golden one. You know the golden colours we like? Yeah, yeah. This is in prime condition. Look at this, Barry. Prime. He's almost ready now, Barry. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I think he's about, about ready. Right, Here he comes. It does look like a ghosty, but I'm pretty certain he's a big wildy. He is a big wildy, but look at him. Fish. Another big double. The second double, if I can land him. He's a, he's a proper wildy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But look at the size of him, Barry, if you can get your net down. Oh, that's lovely. Hold you can net, net the salmon, see, properly. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Did you see that action with the net? I did. Hey? Beautiful. Right, let's get him on that mat. Oof. That's a big fish. It's a lovely fish. Another big wildy. And that was on a free line. It's 10, isn't it? Almost 10. Oh, it's got to be 10. I'll give it 11. Did you give it 11? Yeah, I will. No, I okay, hooks come out in the net. See, the barber's hooks are really good, aren't they? I mean, oh, no, I'm if sure. you can. There we go. What, are we on three each, aren't we? That's three each. You've outfished me, really, because you. Should we get a picture of this one, Barry? It's a nice fish. Let's yeah. get a picture, shall we? You want to use your camera, Paul? Uh, mine's up the swanny at the moment. It's not is taking it? any right, pictures. Okay. Yeah, if you can use yours, I'd appreciate it. Oh! I reckon he's about, I reckon he is 11. I think he is 11, Barry. I would think so. Maybe 12. I'll say 11. Maybe 15. I wouldn't say that big. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least my nose isn't grown. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Actually, you'd be surprised. When I weighed them on that guy's, on Tony's rig, yeah. they were bigger than I expected. We've oh, been, no, we've been underestimating them. Fish, isn't it? He is. You see that? Oh, yeah. he won't let me get under there. I want to try and present him for the camera. Right, I'll put my, if I get hold of him on that side, hang on. So his petrols are showing. There we go. How about that? That's a stunner, isn't it? He's beautiful. Got him? Yeah. Lovely, isn't he? Can I film my camera? I want to get a... He wants to flip. Come again. He wants to flip. Right, just ready again. You ready for the next shot? Yep. Here we go. There we go, one for the camera. You're going to put it back now? Yep. Right. Thank you, Barry. Keep the camera rolling, I think, and just step him back. But that's the caliber of fish we've got here. They're lovely fish, aren't they? Aren't they? I mean, they're not small wildies, these are giant wildies. I say, there's not many fisheries that happen this big. They look very ghosty as well, don't they? Now, the wild carp, they look like ghost carp. So did I. That free line technique, though, is very good, Barry. I've got nothing at all. Nothing at all. He's taken the free line bait. Oh. Yeah, the bobbin went straight up. My, my bobbin, but he swam towards me, so I couldn't make contact. Now I've made contact, it's a decent fish. No, free line meat. Don't know how big he is. Oh, he's not massive, but he's a, he's a, he's, he's a wildy. He's a beautiful wildy. How about that then, Barry? Isn't that interesting? Can you hear the music of the reel? That was a funny old bite, that one, Barry. Yeah, he took it and came right towards me. The bobbin went up. The rod was going to go in. Grabbed the rod. And then I thought, what's this? Swam 100 miles an hour at me. Like a torpedo. Right, he's about five pounds, so I'll net him myself. Yeah, I can net him myself. It's, it's only about five. You can see where the bobbin's gone, right over here. The bread bobbin. <laughs> Fish number four, knocking on the door. Well, it's only four three. Anything can happen. Spurs are beating Fulham four three. <laughs> Fulham has their secret weapon to come out yet. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I might get smashed yet. <laughs> I'll tell you what, don't they fight well for their size though? It's only a five pounder. Don't they fight well? Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, just look at the reel. He's stripping me. <laughs> He's turbo charged. Sometimes the smaller fish fight better than the big fish. Don't they go well? Here he is. Here he comes. Maybe he's bigger than I think. Oh, here he comes. So I don't think these fish have been caught before, to be honest with you. They're that wild, but they are that pristine. And we'll just bring him to the net. Oh, here you go. Yeah, about four, four pounds. Possibly five, but I'd say four. Very nice though. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the hooks out. Barber's hooks, so they should slip out no problem. There we go. Out come the hooks. And there's the fish. Another beautiful wild carp. Predominantly wildies in here. That's about four, four and a half. There he is. Beautiful fish. Chub looking. We'll slip him back. Wow. Off he goes. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, 
It's a big one, Barry. It's massive. It's taking the whole swim. Look. <laughs> what is going? It is. Right, I've got to bring the other one in so I don't wrap up. If you could take the other rod in, that would be really good. Thanks, Barry. But this one's like, oh, unbelievable. Every five minutes. It's the bait. I'm That's tight and close in the margins. Bring the fish onto your bait. I've brought in most of it. It's just got to lift it out of the water, I think. But it's a shame, because see where that fizzing was going on? I had another one fizzing on that. This is a clonker. Look, it's just sat low. When they sit low, you think, what is this? It's just sitting low, Barry. Is this the 20 I've been after? Is my elastic going to take it? Is it big? I think so, look. Look, it's a clunker. I've got to be careful here. I've got to keep him out of that. Give it some left-hand side. The That's on the float. Let's have a look at him. You, if he comes up, you'll see how big he is. Where is he? Oof. The big one's just, look. Oh, another big one. That's another big one. Another 10. <laughs> I can't believe this. Three, three tens in, in about half an hour. You're going to get much better than that. <laughs> it is the bait, Barry. I promised you. When I phoned you this morning and I told you six bags minimum, I meant it. I meant it. <laughs> right. Hang on, I'm going to have to put them. This is another 10. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's absolutely, he's going for that structure. I've got to be ever so careful. I'm going to have to give him some, look at him go, look at him go. Ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? Pole fishing at its best. And this is only a little stalking pole. I just hope he doesn't get ideas to strip me on the other side of the lake. I've got to just play him in and let the rod do the work. The elastic's there as a shock absorber, but the pole should do a lot of the work. But he's, he's decided to take off. Look, he's waving to us, Barry, he's waving. I'm going to just, they might be bigger than 10, this one. <laughs> I'm going to just come up the back. No, he doesn't want to come. Better come over here, lock, it, otherwise you'll get the side on him. That's all right, Barry, I'm okay. In fact, I'm trying to keep him away from those weeds. If I go over there, yeah, you know what I mean? If he gets in that iron, you'll be... No, he won't. These fish are quite yeah. sensible, actually. Isn't he lovely? Look at him, he's waving at us with his tail, his huge tail. This is a big, big, big fish. This is why I work out at the gym. Oh, if I come back and play him like that, then Barry can get in there. Let's see if I can get his head up. He's going up the other way now. Where's he off to? Where's he off to? Oh, let's look at this beast. Oh, Barry. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> it's, I'm going to walk back with him. Look at the size of it. Yeah, Look at it. It's over 10, isn't it? There you go. He's almost there. Here he comes. Here he comes. That's a big one, Barry. Oh, He's not quite there yet, but he's going for the weeds. Oh, there he is. Okay, hold him, hold him, that's it, hold him there. Is it a big fish? I think you could find that's the, that's an 18 pounder maybe. That is a big fish. Oh, I would say he's getting on for 18. That's a long one. On the pole as well. What do you think about that then, Barry? Picture job? Fantastic, yeah. Oh, let's get the camera on him. Isn't he beautiful? Is it a wild or a common? It's a wild. This is a wild what carp. I don't even know they go to 18. I want a 20 pounder, that's what I want. <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lovely fish. Oh, it's a clonker. I think he's just... He's still there. Oh, that's the beauty, isn't it? I think the hook's, the hook may have come out. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. They're barbless hooks, you see. They just drop out yeah. in the net. They have. It's dropped it out in the net. Out. Lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Let's have a picture, shall we? Get the camera. Oh, Barry. Well done. Can you believe it? Oh, he's beautiful. Lovely markings. Oh, it's about 18, I'd say. Oh. 
Actually, this is the same fish that I caught yesterday. It's the same one? Yeah. How do you know? It's got a marking on it. Red mark? Really? It's the same fish I caught yesterday. He's come back for seconds. Can you believe it? Is that right? This is the 17 and three quarters. Are you sure? I'm 100% positive. Because the mark is on the back. No. It's the same fish twice. No, Look, I remember that as well. Really? Yeah, same fish. <laughs> oh, no, oh, it's a conker. There we you go. Want to take a picture of the same fish? Go on, might as well. It's more light now. If you come in close and get it nice, yeah, look at that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at that fish. Isn't it just beautiful? Thank you, Barry. No problem. We're slipping back carefully. 17 and three quarters, that's been weighed. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Is it worth getting one on, on the net, do you think? On, laying oh. on its back? Should we get one laying on the mat? Because it's such an impressive not. fish, isn't it? Don't you check them, the same fish are playing today. Oh. Oh, I've seen the same swim, so it's probably its home. Yeah. Get his best side. It's got a paddle and a half on him. Oh, Look right. at the tail, see what I mean? I'm moving that way, Barry. Well, you just want one on the mat? Just one on the mat side. There we go. Right? Yep. Just move out there. There we go. Oh. He doesn't want to stay, does he, for the picture? Right. There we go. Right. Got him. Got him? Yep. Oh. Right, let's slip him back. Let's use your neck because it's much stronger. On the pole again. On the pole as well. Yep. Back he goes. I can't believe he's been taken out twice in in two days. Can you? There he is. Oh, last fish of the night for me. And look, it scared everything out below. Oh, on the pole. Ladies and gentlemen, last fish. Last knockings. And it looks like a big wild. It, yes, it is. Oh, he's taking me. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yep. Nice fish. Oof, Barry. <laughs> Can you believe it? Here he is. Do us a favour, Barry. Could you bring in the other rod for me? Just in case he goes for a mad run on the right-hand side. Because this is the last fish for me tonight. I'm packing up. I bet you there's no bait on that one. I'm sat there waiting for Look at this go. Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is moving like the clappers. Look at this. Fighting so well. Is there bait? Oh, there's bait on there. Just look at that. One last knockings. And this pole has produced virtually most of the fish, I reckon, tonight. And look, this is no small fish. He's turbocharged. Let's get his head up. Is he going to show himself? He doesn't want to show himself. Where is he? Oh, he's not too big. No, it's about four. I think we'll play him in pretty quickly, this one. Not a, it's not a clonker. Try walking back, Barry, and you can do the honours if you like. And I think we'll call it an end, end of the day, end of the session. Cool, yeah. It's been a good session. Barry's had three. Excellent. I've had five, lost two. Could have had seven. And uh, here's the wildie coming in now. He's about four, four pounds, but they fight ever so well, don't they? Don't they go well? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh, do you see that net? Mm. Where's he gone? There he is. Aren't they turbocharged, Barry? Turbo? Yeah, Thanks, Barry. What, four pounds? Yeah, bigger than that, aren't they? Seven? Quite a big one. Is it? Isn't it? 
He felt like he fought really well, to be honest with you. Well, it might be about six or seven. Oh, nice one to end the session on. That's right, we reckon. What do you reckon? Have a look. He's got to be six or seven, I would have thought. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a fatty, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's a fatty. Let's have a look at him. Oh, perfect condition. Look at the condition of the fish. Hooked it right in the in the lip there. Perfect. Perfect. That hook should come out easy because it's barbless. Get that out. Oof. Oof. Just hold it there. Isn't these perfect condition fish though? Aren't they lovely condition? Okay. Hooks are out. Well, I'll just put that over there. And then we'll just um Do you want to take a photo with that pool do you? No, I won't take a photo of what I'll do. If you shine when I lift him up, we get we can get him on. Oh right, on it's the a, on the video, but I've got here. If you come and shine it behind me, like that, I can show him on my camera. That's the quality of that's a seven pounder. Yeah, it's gonna be that's bad. actually not bad. Isn't he beautiful? Good fish. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna slip him back. Okay. Thanks, Barry. No problem. Good, good sport tonight. Excellent, wasn't it? Lovely really good sport. Thank you ever so much. About to pack up, went off, and uh, we're into the fish. And this is a good one as well, another wild carp, number eight. And here he is, he's coming in really close. He's a good fish. And Barry's coming to help me with the lights, so he's almost there now. Yeah, I think he's, he's not sure, he's not massive, he's probably about four pounds, five pounds. Yeah, okay. Another wild carp, about five or six. Probably better nick it myself, actually. So I'll just get that net. Oh. Here he comes. Let's have a look at him. Oh, here he comes. Oh, come to daddy. Come to daddy, nice long fish. Beautiful. And that's a fish of about six. From last knockings. That's a fish number eight. Beautiful wild carp. And that's just lovely. Oh, it's a terrific looking fish. Really beautiful. Really, really nice. And uh, just get the gorge on him, he's taking it a little bit down, he should be able to get it out okay. Yeah, it's just a disgorger job. Taking it quite down. If you can shine that torch, I can see where the hook is. Oh, I can just chill. Oh, I can see him. So I can see the teeth that they've they've got little teeth in the back there. Can you see the yeah. teeth that they've got, these carp? I don't know if you can see it. See it, but he's um caught on the tooth. So if I go in and out, it's barbers hooks, so it's yeah. it's out, barbers hooks. Well done, Paul. It's about six well pounds. Well, eh? Six pounds. Good size yeah, of it. Yeah. It's about six. Seven. It's got to be a good six, six and a half, I would say. Look at that. Yeah. Shine the torch in. Look how long they are. They're slender. They Proper are. wildy. Lovely fish. Lovely fish. That's six. It's a bit like a barbel when you see those barbels. They are. Aren't they? They're not too different to the barbel and they're not too different to um, chub. No, they're not. So that was a bonus fish while I was packing up. <laughs> Isn't that funny how it works? Well done, Paul. You fish well. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Done well, mate. You had a nice couple of fish as well, didn't you? You had them oh, up yeah, to I about what? Could have been better, but no, I think you're no, definitely doing good. Definitely doing good. Right, off, enjoy it. Off he goes. Aren't they oh, lovely, these fish? Lovely, aren't they? Can you just give them net a rinse? Sure. Of course I can. They stink, don't they? Really? Cool.